Happy New Year. New Year, new me. Welcome to Adam and Adam's Cooking Corner. Um, today, I've got a very special present for this young man right here. So we've got a couple of different items here on the table. Uh, we've got some generic cheese. Let it be known, you can really go with any type of cheese for this recipe. I'm just going with cheddar because it's the only type of cheese that my stomach can handle. What about some mozzarella? Oh, I hadn't considered that. You haven't considered the mozzarella? No, I hadn't considered the mozzarella. 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 What else do you have? Um, I've got some nice uh, hoisin garlic marinade and sauce. Slightly sweet, lots of garlic. Period. Over here we've got some brown rice. Oh, that's what that is. Yes, it's not a spice like you were trying to guess. <laughs> Past that, we've got a nice, uh, a nice pie. It's a little, uh, pre-made chicken pot pie. Pre-made chicken pot pie, yep. A single stick of celery. And the last thing is this organic mother's milk tea. It's gonna help with your lactation issues. Um, so what this does, you take a sip, a single sip, and you immediately lactate everywhere. That's really all of the ingredients that we have for today. So the very first thing that we're gonna be doing is we're gonna take this pie, and we're gonna put it in the microwave for six minutes. Really the only other thing that we have to prep past that is we need to prep this tea. We are in fact going to be putting all three of these into the pot at once. I don't like tea that much. left on this. Okay. So, here is our game plan. We are going to be taking rice. the rice and the cheese and the sauce. The moment this comes out, I need you to tear into the pot pie and start mixing everything together with your hands. I'm going to get third degree burns. <laughs> this is payback for the habanero a month ago. Your mouth is on fire, my hands will be on fire. Now wait, we're going to put this stuff in first. That way you've got at least a little bit of a little bit of stuff that you can mix around, okay? Ow! Jesus Christ! Ah! <laughs> oh, that's nice. That's soothing. That's a lot. Of, that's a lot of damage. You gotta do more than that, honey. I want you to go in again. Make sure that you get as guttural and as just screamy as possible because the thing that's really going to make this dish okay. is the unbridled rage that you put into it. Ah! Ah! Good. 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 Ah! <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you don't <laughs> have to touch it anymore. It needs to get deeper. <laughs> it's not going to melt. It's not even hot anymore. <laughs> Next step, let's prep this tea. Oh, we've got our tea and we've got our little garnish. So my question for you is, do you think that the meal is ready? Of course not. It's not. It's absolutely not. This is fine. Our tea is set. We need to set that aside. Our pot pie though, it's not correct right now. We need to let all of the nutrients and whatnot ferment. Uh, specifically, we need to make sure that it is aged 23 hours and 52 minutes. Luckily, I've gone ahead and pre-prepped one. So there we go. Please feel free to have a taste of Grandma Gina's special new mother blend. A little crunchy. Yeah, yeah. As you would expect, because yeah. of the uncooked rice and stuff. Mm -hmm. Garlic gives it a nice taste. It's a mind game. Yeah. 
It's more of a mind game because it tastes great. It <laughs> really does. It's a mind game knowing that this has probably been sitting on your counter for uh, 24 hours before I came over here. Now, don't be afraid to go ahead and just dig into that mother's milk. Oh, you know what? I forgot one final step. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Oh yeah. Get that in there. Just let that soak into the breading. It was perfect, because it was all cold. It was, and now it's going to heat it up, and you're going to get a full flavor effect. How long do we soak it? Until you're ready. I might never be ready. <laughs> I will say though, the longer you wait, the more I'm gonna have to pour it. Okay, well, uh, let's just dive right in there. Oh, listen to that sound. Here's to being sick for a week. Oh. Wow. How does it taste? Like that sweet tea with the garlic? Yeah. Wouldn't expect it to melt. Go ahead and give it a rating. Okay. Of all the pot pies I've had, this one ranks in the top seven. Perfect. Number one being my mom would, you know, slave away over a hot oven after putting a Costco pot pie in there. And then two through six, I don't even have a joke for those. Perfect. But this one's seven. I'll keep stimulating. It gets harder. It gets harder. <laughs> my nipples and getting down this tea. Both of those things are getting harder and harder with every stroke. That means it's working. Mm. I told you. It's working. I told you. Well, that tea gets a, a 19 out of 20. I'm done. I'm quitting. I'm quitting. That joke was that bad. I'm done. I am finished. Goodbye. Wait, no, Adam. 19! 19! Like tea, like the drink. Like this. 19! 19. Oh, this one's way worse. Jeez. Uh, Thanks for watching our video. If you'd like to lactate, please check out Organic Mother's Milk through Traditional Medi Medicinals Women's Tea. Also check out our videos. A couple of them right here. Maybe one on each nip. Who knows? I do, because I'm the editor. Does anyone want this pot pie? <laughs>